Hey people, what's going on? Drake here. I built myself a 100% efficient water elevator for use in Minecraft. Um, it uses a series of staggered dispensers in order to lift either the player or a boat if you so choose. It works 100% of the time, regardless of single player or multiplayer servers. So it obviously has a hand up over a lot of piston elevators. And also one of the best benefits of it, it is pretty resource light in terms of each level. Um, you only need a few blocks, a dispenser, and a bucket of water, and a few signs. So, uh, you know, compared to a piston elevator, it's pretty cheap. So let's go ahead and show you how it works. Pop the boat, press the button. All the dispensers turn on, and will lift you up to whatever level you want. And the best part about this is, it is infinitely expandable. It can go as high or as low as you possibly want it to. And then also, it has an off button up here. So when you're at your level, you can press this and it will take you back down. Alright, so let's go and get started. You're going to want to start out by digging a 4x4 four four trench wherever you want your elevator at. Just as so. Dig out the middle four blocks too. And then you're going to want to fill this in with whatever block type you want. I'm going to use stone brick for the sake of the tutorial. If I can build faster, then this would be great. Now I'm going to go and build the sides. And make this as tall as you want it, or as low as you want it. I'm just going to put it that tall for right now to save a little bit of time. Right there. And I know that's uneven too. I realize that completely. That's fine. <laughs> it doesn't need to be even. It actually does. It does need to be even. Ignore that. Alright. Find out where your entrance is going to be and make the border three blocks high at least, because you otherwise you get your head on it. And you don't want that. Concussion or something to suck. I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the back with glass. And then fill in the front with glass too. And you can use whatever you want for this. It can even be stone brick or whatever kind you're using. I just prefer glass. And then fill in the sides too. This can be the same type of block, but I think logs look amazing. Especially spruce. Oh my god, it looks so sexy. Now comes the start of the redstone. You're going to want to stagger a dispenser going all the way up. So starting here on the lower right block, you're going to place one dispenser. And then you're going to skip a block, place another one. And do this all the way up until you reach the top of your elevator. And then you're going to do the same on the other side, just the exact opposite. So instead of being this one, it will start with this one up here. Skip one. Skip one. Skip one. Just like so. So overall it will look like this. Now you're going to place the signs that you need. And what this does is restricts the what I don't want it there at all. This uh, restricts the water to one source block. And that's what you need to lift you up. Let's not go there. All the way up everywhere you don't got a dispenser. That's not what I wanted. And then other side too. You can even do this on the, uh, the glass too, the front and the back. I just choose the sides because it makes it look nicer. But I think it looks nicer. It looks pretty. <laughs> Alright. And then make sure you place a sign in your entrance way too. Three signs going up. Otherwise, it'll wash away all your buttons and that that we're going to get to in just a second. Just like so. And now you're going to place two blocks on either side coming out like this a 2x2 two two pattern. You're going to get yourself a button, place one here, and here, and then place a sign, and this is going to be the on slash off switch, and this is going to be the boat spawn, which we'll get to in a minute. Now we can go ahead and start some of the redstone, just dig out a little trench next to where your button and dispensers are located at, just like so. I'm going to grab myself a sticky piston and a redstone block. And you can look at the sticky piston right underneath where your button was located at up here for the on slash off switch. Place a redstone block. Two pieces of redstone. Repeater. A block. And then now comes the actual repeating pattern of the torches going up. Now the easiest way to do this is to place a block under each dispenser, just like so, all the way up. And then place a block to the side of each dispenser too. 
just like so. And then go ahead and place your torches. You can place a torch on the inside of each one of these blocks, going all the way up, and on the opposite side too. And then just gonna place a torch here. So when you're all done, all of the torches facing the dispenser should all be in the on position, going all the way up. So when you press this button, this piston will fire, and you'll hear the dispensers, just like so. And I'll go ahead and wire it around to the other side. You can do this underneath the actual water elevator too, but I'll have to take it on the back side. <laughs> Jesus. But, uh, <laughs> professionalism. <laughs> just like so. And repeat the same pattern. Block underneath each dispenser. I can freaking fly. Come on, stop that. No, stop. Alright. And then the sides too. Okay. Put this out a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. And then the same thing. Torches inverting on either one. Alrighty. And then make sure the torches are on, going all the way up towards the dispensers. And then down here, we're just going to place two source blocks, or source blocks, duh, two blocks with redstone torches underneath them. Come on, it's up one. go and then we're just gonna bring this wire all the way around and place a torch right here wrap it around the back side and then we're just gonna bring this up two blocks place a repeater set the zero delay okay and once again this doesn't matter if these torches are on just so long as when you press the button they all fire it really doesn't matter, I just, I prefer them to be, but uh, in this case, since this is only so tall, uh, the wiring is just a little bit different, but it should work regardless, so let's go ahead and press the button, make sure we get it alright. Sounds perfect. Okay, you can go ahead and cover up all of your redstone work now, too. Now, one great thing about this is it's mostly all hidden, the only thing you're really going to see is just the sides of the elevator. With uh, the torches inverting all the way up, which to me really isn't an eyesore, so it's freaking sexy. Alright. And now you're just going to place your water buckets. You're going to need a water bucket for every dispenser that you put in your elevator, so the amount depends on how tall or how low it's going into the ground. Oh my god. No, stop that. Alright. And then we're also going to place two water sources here to make an infinite water source. And then just place a water bucket in every dispenser that you have going up either side. That's it for that side. Alright. So now when we press this button, all the dispensers should fire. That's exactly what we wanted. And now we're going to do the boat spawn. Uh, this works in a very similar fashion to this. You're going to need a sticky piston, redstone block, a little bit of dust, repeater, and a block of some kind. So same mechanics as this over here. You're just going to place a sticky piston with a redstone block. I'm going to dig this out. I'm going to place a redstone dust, two blocks redstone dust, and a repeater, and then here in the corner, you can place it, oh, not a sign, place a dispenser right where this block is, just like so, so now when you press this button, this dispenser will fire, that's what you want, and then you're going to place your boats in here, if you're going to use this as a boat elevator, you can just use this as a regular uh, person elevator too, it doesn't matter, but uh, I like the boat elevator, it's nicer, so now when you press this button, it will spawn a boat, Hop inside. It originally gets stuck in this wall. You just have to move it a little bit outside of the wall. And then after that, it's good to go. So now when you press this button, all the dispensers should fire. And we're flying. Alright, now I fell off the ledge. Now we're going to go ahead and work on the inverting wire down. Alright, now comes the fun part of wiring this down. You're going to want to go ahead and build up your borders around the top of your elevator, like so, not like that, don't follow my instructions at all, I'm a terrible builder, really, 
Nope. See? <laughs> okay. And then, make, once again, make sure this is three high. Just, like, down below. Otherwise, you'll get your head on it. So, like so. And then go ahead and fill in the sides with whatever kind of material you used. I use wood, so that's what I'm going to stick with. Oh, that's not what I wanted at all. Glass in the back. Alright. Now, you can put your reset uh, switch wherever you want it up here. Um, it's just the switch that goes up and down. It's the same thing as down air. works the same exact way. You're just going to invert the wire down. I like to put mine inside the elevator right here. So that's where I'm going to put it for the sake of the tutorial. You need a button, some redstone, a sticky piston, redstone block, torches, and some kind of block to place them on. I'm just going to place a button. And come around the back side. Actually going to get a repeater too. My bad. Place a repeater. Some redstone dust torch. Then you're going to place a block, two down from that torch, and a redstone. And then this is where it's actually going to go the wire down. It's going to look very similar to this, except it's just going to be inverted all the way down. And you want to make sure it's at least two blocks away, otherwise the wiring will interfere. And you don't want that. So you're just going to repeat this pattern over and over and over until you get down to the bottom where your wiring originally begins. This is uh, the time-consuming part, especially if you're in survival. This is uh, <clears throat> not the funnest. Okay, right there is where we want that. Place the redstone dust. And then here, we're going to use the similar mechanics as all of the rest of the wiring is. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Fall through the earth there. Place a sticky piston. With a redstone block. Take this out a little bit so we can see where we're going. And then this all depends on where your wiring ends up going. Yours might look a little bit different than this, but since mine is this, we're going to invert the signal, like so. And then we're just going to wire it all the way back to this original block. So whenever we press that button, it's going to invert all this wiring, turn this off, and then it's going to power all of the dispensers, bringing all of the water either in or out, depending on how it is. So when we press this button now, it should function as so. There's this freaking slimer. It works. Alright, and then this will be your platform too, or your ledge if you're going to build this into the ground. And that is the end of the tutorial. That is the complete water elevator. My name has been Drake. Press that freaking like button down here, please. It helps me out a ton. Thanks, guys.